All right, so H, the units for that are joules per second, right? C, the units for that are meters per second um, in this case. So is that right for, yeah, it's joule seconds um, in this instance right here, right? So when we're talking about the energy of a photon, right, what we're talking about is joules is equal to joule seconds times meters per second over meters, right? And so then in all those cases, right, the meters cancel out, the seconds cancel out. So if we want to convert this then into being um, electron volts, right, what we have to do is then do EV over joules. Now, if we want to convert the meters in this case into nanometers, right, those meters right there cancel out. So what we have to do is have, um, the, the units for the meters, we're gonna have to convert and change then the units for the speed of light as well on top of that. Um, yeah. So in that case, since for both of them, right, one meter is equal to one times 10 to the negative nanometers, we have to multiply both of those by one times 10 to the ninth nanometers per meter, right? And that goes for, for both parts in those cases, right? So all of that right there cancels out. And that, you know, one times 10 to the ninth, one times 10 to the ninth for both of those things right here, right? Is just, you know, one times 10 to the ninth um, overall, right? And so that would change the nanometers and then the nanometers right there as well. Um, but um, no, we would only have to keep that up there, right? Because then now that relates the nanometer value that we have down here to there. Wait. So we have meters per second is going to be equal to 1 times 10 to the ninth nanometers per second is that relationship right there, right? For that we have for that right there. So if this right here unit is in nanometers, we have to make sure that we're changing this into nanometers right here. Yeah, so then we just multiply by one times 10 to the ninth up there. So if we have that right there, right? Because then that just simply converts nanometers into meters, right? So if we're trying to get nanometers down here, we would do that right there then. And then meters cancel, nanometers cancel, joules cancel, joules cancel, seconds cancel, seconds cancel. We're only left with EV in this case. So then the relationship that we would have to have, right, is then what's the relationship between the EV and the joules, right? So then that puts us then at H, C, right, times 10 to the ninth nanometers per meter over lambda nanometers. And then all of that's going to be then equal to one electron volt over 1.60218 times 10 to the negative 19 joules, right? So that's the relationship there. So joules cancel, meters cancel from right here, right? So we're left with nanometers, nanometers, nanometers then cancel, right? The seconds from the, the joules seconds and then the, the seconds from the, from the C, right? Those then cancel. So then everything right here should just cancel out then in that case. And so then we should get what the energy is in electron volts. So let me just double check. This is taking so much longer than I was expecting it to. And I'm just, I just need to wake up. Um, right. So we have 6.62, what is it? 6.6266, 626 times 10 to the negative 34 times speed of light, which is 2.9979 times 10 to the eighth times one times 10 to the ninth uh, times one divided by the wavelength, right? So I said 432 was with the test one I'm gonna do 432, and then that gets multiplied by 1.60218 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And that gives me 2.87, which is what I had right there. So, okay, so that's correct. So then if we wanna get it, uh, so all we have to then do if we're trying to get that relationship, right? So that's the relationship between the energy and the wavelength. Um, so we have that right there. 
And then, um, so if we want to then, you know, do the reverse where we know what the energy is in EVs, but we want to go to wavelength, what we then have to do is just simply flip those two so we can then change that so that what we have then is the wavelength in nanometers is equal to HC times 10 to the ninth nanometers over meters over the energy of the photon in EV. All right, and then this is simply 1 times EV times 1.60218 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. All right, and so we do that. And so now if we go within the reverse way, right, we have 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 times speed of light, 2.9979 times 10 to the 8th times 1 divided by the thing in EVs, right, so that's 2.87 times 1.60218 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So that comes out to being 4. You know, 3, uh, something's off. Oh, I forgot to do the multiplication times 9 up, up there. Right. Um, e to the ninth. Yeah, so that comes out to 432 nanometers, which is what I had then on the next page. So what we can then do to simplify our lives, you know, even further, if we just wanted, if we're, if we're not, we're going to do a whole bunch that are um, directly related like that, is we can just go ahead and then just calculate what all, what a value is for all of this right here. Um, and then all we have to do is just plug and chug in that case, right? So if we do that, right, that value right there, right? So we have 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds, right? That's going to be times the speed of light, which is 2.9979 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. We're going to multiply that by one times 10 to the ninth nanometers over meters, right? And then they get to multiply by one EV. And then all of that gets divided by 1.60218 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Right, so joules cancel, seconds cancel, meters cancel, right? So what we're then left with in this case right here is then uh, nanometers and um, electron volts in this case, um, right? Oh, and we don't need the nanometers anymore, right? So the nanometers, so it's just simply one over um, meters um, because, you know, right, we multiplied... Um, by nanometers and so we, we brought that out again so we have that out um and so then for this number that we can just simply use right 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 times 2.9979 times 10 to the eighth times 1 times 10 to the ninth divided by 1.60218 times 10 to the negative 19 right so that comes out to a value that you have where um 12 39.8, right? So if we just simply, you know, think about sig figs, right? So 1240 electron volts is equal to, um, right, one nanometer in this case. So, um, or, sorry, this is then in nanometers over electron volts, right? So that's that's this part right here. So if we want to make ourselves a really easy equation, right? We have lambda in nanometers is going to be equal to um, 1240 nanometer electron volts over the energy of the you know work function or the photon or whatever you're looking at in electron volts right there, right? So that's a really easy way then because all we have to do, we don't have to, you know, plug in 6.626 and all that stuff, right? Because those are all constants. Everything that I, you know, pulled out right there is a constant in this case. And so we can just simply use this equation to very quickly, you know, plug and chug our way through um, the, the, that whole, you know, series um, that's on the next part. So, right, so if we use that equation, right, so the wavelength in nanometers is equal to 1240 nanometers over electron volts, right, over the energy in electron volts. We just do that, right? We can plug in our work function, right? So if we're taking calcium, right, what we have is 1240 nanometers over electron volts 
over 2.87 electron volts, what we get is 1240 divided by 2.87 comes out to being 432 nanometers, right? We go to the next one, right? Titanium, 1240 nanometers, electron volts over 4.33 electron volts, right? That's the work function. So 1240 divided by 4.33 comes out to being 286 nanometers, right? And so if we're looking at the answer key that I have posted, that matches right there, right? 286. So you can just work your way then through using that equation, right, that we had derived. That took me forever to do. And I'm sorry, I was just like waking up and I feel like I'm very frustrated with myself for that. But um, but we're, we're, we're chugging along now. So 525, right? So I got 265. And that I'm just going to, let me just double check in case any the reason, the reason that people wanted me to work through this is that I made a mistake somewhere, right? So 1240 divided by 2.36, 525. 1240 divided by 265 is 4. Point, oh, wrong way. 1240 divided by 3.63 is 342, right? 1240 divided by 2.14 is 579. And then 1240 divided by 2 by 4.6 is 270. Right, so all of these are in nanometers. And so that's all you have to do to, to, to work your way through, you know, going from uh, the work function to the wavelength. And now, right, the relationship between the frequency uh, we know is, uh, right, C is equal to um, the frequency times um, the wavelength in this case. And so, you know, we can make our lives easier as we can just use, um, you know, the wavelength that we just calculated um to plug it into there so if we go there and we switch this around right lambda is equal to the speed of light over the wavelength now the, the one thing to remember right is that the wavelength has to be in meters um in this case so uh if we're going to be doing it in nanometers right the thing that we have to then do is make sure that we then also divide by one times ten uh um to the, uh, um, sorry, here, I'm gonna, I was about to make, you know what, I'm just gonna, right, so that unit is in, right, one per second, right, C is in meters per second, right, and we're leaving lambda in uh, nanometers, right, and so then that relationship that we have to think about here, right, is V is equal to um, one over seconds, and so then we have meters per second here, at the bottom, right, we have nanometers. And so what we have to then do is cancel out the nanometers. And so to cancel out the nanometers, right, we have, um, you know, there are one times 10 to the negative nine meters per nanometer in this case, right? So that's at the bottom. And so If we flip that and have it go up top, right, we can then have meters per second times one times 10 to the ninth nanometers per meter over nanometers, right? And so then that way the meters cancel, the nanometers cancel, and you still end up with one per second. So all we have to do is just take, um, you know, the equation that we would usually use. And so we have, you know, lambda is going to be equal to C over... Uh, lambda in nanometers times 10 to the ninth to be able to get what it is then per second. Um, so if we do that here, right, so for, for, for V in this case, right, it's 2.9979 um, times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And then we multiply that by one times 10 to the ninth nanometers per meter and divide that by the wavelength. So for that first one, what is it? 432 nanometers. Nanometers cancel, meters cancel. We end up with per second. Lambda is equal to, oh,
right? So 2.9979 times 10 to the eighth times one times 10 to the ninth um, divided by 432. And so one thing we can do too, right, is we can just simply put those two together. So that way now we have, you know, 2.9979 times 10 to the 17th nanometers per second, right? That's what the speed of light is. If you were to do it in nanometers per second, so we have that, divide that by 432, what we get is 6.94 times 10 to the 14th. Oh, come on, cable. right? 6.94 times 10 to the 14th hertz, right? And a hertz is just simply a one, one over second. Um, right. And so you can do that and then you just plug your way through, right? Where you just simply do 2.9979 times 10 to the 17th divided by the wavelength that we have, right? So by 2 by 86, we get 1.05 times 10 to the 15th 